What's up, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, everybody out there? I'm Philip Twaney. This is Solar Power, Electricity, and Electronics, and we're going to talk about potassium hydroxide. Why would we talk about chemistry inside of a solar YouTube channel? Well, basically, everything in solar has something to do with chemistry. Now, I'm not saying that I'm a chemist, or I'm not saying that I'm an expert at anything that I'm talking about today. I'm just going by safety data sheets. So, <clears throat> let's talk about uh, the potassium hydroxide in the uh, Edison 240 batteries, 360 uh, and 400 and 160 batteries. I think it's 360. It might be 340. I could be wrong, so, you know, take what I say with a grain of salt, but um, <clears throat> heat warning, playing with potassium hydroxide can get you burned. Now that that is said, let's take a look at the hazard identifications. Acute toxicity in oral, which is category 4, Skin corrosion and irritation is category one and subcategory A. Now, don't ask me what the categories definitions are. I don't know. I'm assuming it's bad. But this is uh, acute toxicity. Acute is not full-fledged, I'm pouring it onto my hand. I got a splash of a couple of drops of water is more like acute. Uh, serious eye damage or eye irritation. Nobody wants their eyes fucked up. I mean, stab yourself in the eye, right? Um, corrosive to metal. Okay, so some metals that it is corrosive to, for instance, I'm sure that iron will rust incredibly quickly if submerged into this and allowed electrons to pass through a negative plate from it. So that's probably going to be a really, really bad thing. So that's why they don't use metal on negative plate. Iron would not be on a negative plate. Um, <clears throat> there's emergencies. Immediate dangers um, would be harmful if swallowed. Um, severe saturation of the skin with potassium hydroxide because it'll melt your fats off your body and it, again it is corrosive to you know, metal. Let's go to the next page here and take a look at see what they're talking about. Now physical state. As a solid the potassium hydroxide that I just got yesterday which I'll show you that's never been opened yet. I've never dumped any potassium hydroxide out of one of these batteries yet. I've had somebody throwing a fit saying this and that and the potassium hydroxide that I'm pouring in my yard and cadmium um, he hopes it doesn't get my kids sick. Well I'm going to do a video of how to do this but it's not today because I don't have the proper equipment to remove the potassium hydroxide out of the batteries. And if anybody thinks that I'm actually dumping it, they're wrong. I am putting the batteries on the way that I got them without changing the potassium hydroxide, just to clear the air. So, that's for that. Tell me that I'm trying to burn my kids down. Remember me. You know who you're talking to. Uh, prevention from chemical burns would be to wash your face after handling potassium hydroxide. Hands and any exposed skin thoroughly after handling potassium hydroxide. Do not eat, drink, or smoke when using the product because that you don't need to ingest this into your mouth. Because again, 
it will dissolve your flesh because that's what it does when you put fat and potassium hydroxide together you get a mixture of crazy shit happening it gets really hot and it burns your skin with heat and melts the fat tissues out of your body it's crazy you ever seen the fight club movie yeah I'm talking about that that is a lie that is chemical burn um, immediately call the poison center a doctor or physician if in your eyes rinse continuously with water for several minutes remove contact lenses if present and easy enough to do continue rinsing immediately call poison center doctor physician if on skin or hair remove and take off all your clothes that are contaminated and rinse skin thoroughly uh, you know wash contaminated clothes before you reuse it again obviously for obvious reasons wash the clothes it's funny it's not an acid it is a base it's weird if inhaled remove person to fresh air and keep comfortable for breathing immediately call poison center doctor physician etc if swallowed call poison center doctor physician if you feel unwell rinse mouth do not induce vomiting absorb spillage to prevent material damage um, store it store it locked up store in corrosive resistant aluminum container with a resistant inner liner disposal dispose of content container to an approved waste disposal plant Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. There's lots more content coming. Click the subscribe button below. Make sure you come back for more because there's great content always coming up every day in this channel. See you next time. Peace.